every now and then I'll get a woman um, reaching out to me and a guy that she has met very recently is talking about moving in together or uh, being in a serious relationship right away or even getting married right away. And these women are reaching out to me because sometimes you just need validation and clarity on something. Sometimes you know the answer. You just need somebody else to say, yep, that's it, you're right, in order for you to be 100% sure and in order for those things to click in your brain. I had a woman reach out to me and she said, hey, I just met this guy a week ago and we're really hitting it off and he wants us to move in together. And sometimes... I'll text back, you know, a detailed explanation of little red flags that I see in that situation based on what they've told me. But in this particular situation, I just, I sent back three dots and she messaged me back and said, I know. And just so I could make sure we were on the same thought process. I said, what did you think those three dots meant? She said, I know you think that it's too soon, but I just, I just want to know why. So then I said, not to be superficial, but I'm going to be superficial because I think as women, we're not superficial enough. Um, and now I'm just going off on a tangent here to go into detail for you guys. But we're told don't worry about looks, give the nice guy a chance, don't be so picky, don't be superficial, and we're told these things so that who can benefit? If you said men, that was correct. These things are told to us so that they can be chosen, so that they can seem like the prize in the equation so that we can be open to just allowing any old doofus into our lives and i'm popping on the scene to tell women to be fucking superficial if you're not attracted to someone don't date them if they don't make enough money for you to continue on living the kind of lifestyle that you want to live don't date them someone simply being nice does not necessarily mean that you're attracted to them or that y'all have anything in common. Don't date that person. So anyway, let's let's get back to the point. So I had seen that she had seen the message and she didn't respond to me right away. It could have been because she was busy or maybe because I hit a nerve. So when she finally did respond to me, she gave me this long, long essay about how life's been hard for him and he's in between jobs and he just he tried to work for this one person but his boss just didn't really like him so we had to quit that job you know and he's living with his mom because he's just trying to take care of her and he just doesn't know what he's gonna do and yada 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 so i messaged her back three dots again and she immediately responded and said i know and I said, most people have gone through hard times. I have gone through a couple in my lifetime. Most people, if they haven't gone through a hard time yet, they will face one eventually. We are all one emergency away from financial catastrophe. So I'm not saying what I'm about to say to be like I'm better than everybody else and if you're going through a hard time you're a horrible person that's not true things happen to people that are out of their control all the time but what I will say is as you are trying to piece things back together if you are in financial catastrophe your focus and priority should not be dating and I said if you are dating someone who is going through financial ruin, you need to back off and allow them the time to get their shit together. 
if that's what they want to do. If they're not even trying to get their shit together, that's even more so reason to back off. One of the biggest downfalls of us as women is listening to the sad stories of men and thinking that we will remedy whatever situation that they are going through, thinking that we will be the one to change them. Not that you are not an amazing person. And I also think it's great that you have such a wonderful heart to want to help people. But nine times out of ten, these men know that about you. And they take advantage of it. They know that you're going to listen to their sad story because they tell every woman that they come in contact with that same story. And you were just so you just so happened to be the one who was like, okay, let's move forward. So you are the one they are in love with. You are the one they want to marry. They want a serious relationship with you because you have the resources they need to survive. One thing about men, self-preservation is numero uno, and they will take advantage of whoever they can to get the things that they need. And a lot of these men have learned that falling in love will get them everything that they needed that they need. There are two celebrities in particular. Um I can't remember what their, their names, but they specifically said that they would fake being in love with women so that they can move in with them at times when they were at their lowest while chasing their dream to become a famous um, whatever they were trying to be. So they used those women to get hot meals and roofs over their head and a car or whatever they needed at the time. And we have to start getting smart. I meet a man and he's telling me this sad story about how everything has just been happening to him lately and things have just, he's just been struggling. I'm so sorry you're going through that. That's really awful. I hope things come together for you. It's been nice meeting you. And then I'm going on about my day. Was that harsh? Was that mean? Maybe, depending on who you ask. But we as women have to stop believing that life is one big rom-com. We have to stop walking around believing that life is one big Disney movie. A lot of these men are just trying to find someone who they can take advantage of. And the quicker you accept that and the more you turn down your heart and everything is so romantic... And you start listening to your brain. We can avoid a lot of the situations that we find ourselves in.